All right, what up? So welcome to another video. Today's video, we're covering three different things that I've learned from running and owning my own gym and my own training business, and then how it can help you guys. So these three tips are gonna relate to anyone who owns a business, athletes, and even just any, any normal people. Um, the first two can help anybody. The third one, a little bit more specific to business. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around all the way to the end for that. So let's get right into these three tips. So number one is you can't and you really shouldn't try to do everything on your own. Now, owning your own business at first, you really have the tendency, especially as a basketball trainer, to try to do everything yourself. You train every single person, you schedule every single person, you film everything, you edit everything, all the, like everything that you do, you do it by yourself. And that's great to get everything going, keep everything low cost, but at a certain point, you're gonna slow down your growth, you're gonna be stretching yourself too thin, and this is gonna really hurt you in terms of your personal development, but also growing your business as well. So that's the big challenge for me is trying to hire other people, expand responsibilities to other people, and not, try, not really try to stretch myself too thin. Even just everyday tasks that I can do by myself, going to pick up certain things, trying to essentially pay other people to go and do it, almost like having an assistant, trying to increase my responsibilities for um, my film guy, trying to edit more stuff, film more stuff, take more off my plate so I can focus on what I'm good at, right? I'm, I'm good at training other people and that's kind of my specialty. So I'm not trying to do everything else myself as well. Now, if you're an athlete, say you're a basketball player, you're a basketball player. You're not a nutritionist, you're not a strength conditioning coach, you're not a basketball trainer. You don't specialize in that area. So if you try to do it all yourself, you're only gonna have limited knowledge and experience. You're only gonna do such a good job. Now, if you can hire somebody else who's a specialist in that area, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck and you're gonna be spending your time a lot more efficiently. Now that's the same thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to edit or do these certain things that I can hire somebody else to do and they're gonna do it better than me. So not only am I gonna save time, but I'm not gonna be stretching myself too thin. I can stay focused on what is the most important thing and then pay somebody else to do a better job than I would do so I can speed up that growth. And obviously that expense has to be profitable, but at a certain point you might not be profitable right away hiring other people doing other things, but it's gonna save you time and time is obviously money. Um, no matter if you're an athlete or no, normal person or a business owner. Um, so that's one of the main things that I'm really focusing on coming into this year is trying to hire other people. Not only, again, like I said, saves time for me, but also giving other people jobs and opportunities to grow within the business and grow as a person themselves. So it's definitely my main focus going into this year and a major thing you have to learn regardless of what business you're in, um, being able to hire other people, trust other people, and being able to find the right person for that role. Now, point number two is essentially just burning the boats. Now, this is something that I've definitely taken and used multiple times already in my life from leaving school to a couple other things. Um, but really just, you're never going to know everything. You're never going to be able to plan everything ahead of time. So at a certain point, you're just going to essentially have to pull the trigger and go for it. Now, for example, this gym, I couldn't plan everything. I didn't know what was going to happen with COVID. Obviously, I got it kind of right in the middle of it. I wasn't sure if it was going to get better or worse. Right, so I can't plan everything ahead of time. And I think a lot of people try to plan and figure out how everything's gonna work perfectly and then commit. And I think it's best to do it the other way. If you really want something, commit to it first and then figure out how you can make it work. And really burning the boats is just give, not giving yourself an option to turn back or to fail or give up. Once I got the gym, I don't really have an option to turn back and try to do something else or pull out of it or try to do something else. I have no other option but to succeed and a lot of times that can be the fire that you need to figure it out and keep going so whatever it is even as an athlete like there's always going to be things that aren't going to work out or reasons why it shouldn't work but if you're focused on that then obviously you're not going to do something sometimes you just have to commit do it pull the trigger burn the boats give yourself no other option but to succeed and move forward and figure it out that's the biggest thing is pretty much a lot of things in life and in business you're going to have to figure it out as you go a lot of shit I don't know. Getting the gym, insurance, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You just figure it out, you learn as you go, and then every time you do that, you obviously grow as a person, you grow in experience, you grow your knowledge. So the next situation you face, you're a little bit smarter, a little bit better. Um, and then again, you face a situation you don't know. You can't plan everything, you won't know everything. You just figure it out as you go. So really have taken that principle to heart, especially owning the gym, and then obviously moving forward in my other business endeavors. Sometimes you just gotta burn the boats, give yourself no other option and just move forward. So now number three is mainly from getting the gym. I've really tried to implement it before, but now I'm really trying to go hard on doing that is you're not really making money 
or you're not really having an extremely profitable business if you only make money when you're working. So for me, having my own gym, not only can I help hire other trainers, expand my business, get new clients in the door, but I can also rent out the gym when I'm not actually training. So for example, I can sit here and I can have somebody else rent the gym and make money while I sit there, do other things, um, or even hire somebody else to sit here for me, watch the gym while I make money while I'm not even here. So figuring out different ways, obviously there's a lot of different ways depending on your business, um, but that's just one quick example for me to make money while you're not actually working. That's gonna help you guys be more profitable, make more money, and then obviously expand. I'm also trying to do that on the online space as well. Obviously there's a lot of work up front, but that money is not only coming in when you're actually putting in work, the sweat, and the hours. So trying to figure out different ways to do that, that's definitely um, obviously more business specific, but even just normal people as well. You don't have to work for every dollar you make, you can use money to make you guys more money. So investing in stocks, in companies, um, in real estate, there's ways to make money without actually having to work during that time that you made the money. Um, and I think that's a big thing to just creating wealth in general, financial freedom, which I am huge on. Um, but yeah, I think everyone should figure out ways where they can make money without actually having to work instead of just grinding away for every single dollar that you make going to increase your quality of life, your profitability, and just having more money and financial freedom. So those are three different things that I've learned and going to implement, continue to implement um, since having my own gym, having my own business. Obviously, a lot of growth, a lot of things I don't know. Um, but as I always say, just documenting the journey and things that I've learned so that you guys can learn and grow as well. So hopefully some of these tips helped you guys. If they did, comment below what you guys learned, what helped you, what you guys think. Um, that I can benefit from, that you guys know, uh, or just any other content ideas that you guys would like, definitely we'll put those together for you guys, get those out. So appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys in another video soon.